sharing with you wardrobe staples to make sure that your closet has the right foundation to have killer style. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru, doing a highly requested video, and that is wardrobe staples, basics to have in your wardrobe for elevated chic style. I get this question so, so often and a lot of statements about your style feels a little advanced. What are some basics? And so I wanted to share with you some of the basic pieces that I've relied on for years to help create the killer outfits that you love to see here on my channel. Not only am I going to show you what those pieces are, but of course give you different ways to style them. Plus the tea on the elevated versions that you should be looking at as well, because I definitely feel like even though I do still love a lot of basic pieces, what I tend to buy more now these days that I know is the reason you love my style is the more elevated basic pieces that I wear that just go a step beyond the regular degula. And there is nothing wrong with the basic. Like, I don't want you to feel like I'm using basic like a bad term. It's not. Basic just simply means no frills, no fuss, a very, very simple piece. But what I look for now and the way that I've elevated my style is really through elevated basics and starting to play around a little bit more with color and playing around with more statement pieces, but that will be for another day. As always, in case you didn't know, links are in the description below. You already know I do not gatekeep here because I want you to also have the slate as well. If there's a piece you are loving, feeling you need, you gotta have it. It's all linked in the description. So let's get into these wardrobe staples. First up is a basic racer back tank top. Now, personally, I don't feel like you need to buy these from a specific brand. Really, the key is just making sure that it fits well and the quality is there. This one I got from ASOS for probably under $10 and it has held up really, really well over the past three years that I've had it. And the great thing about a top like this is it is so simple that it goes with everything. As you're seeing with the styling examples over here, and the thing I really want to challenge you is basic doesn't mean neutral. I really want to stress this. I really feel like this isn't stressed enough. Like as you're seeing in the examples I'm showing, I love to have these in every color again because it makes it so easy to mix and match. It's an easy way to be able to wear more color or to wear patterns and prints. So this is a piece that just literally never goes out of style. The high neck style honestly is really flattering if you are truly pear shaped. If you're somebody who definitely has like big yiddies, first of all, blessed, like your girl's envious. And, and if you could just send a half a scoop in the mail, DM me and I'll give you the address. But, but pay attention to the neckline that you do feel is just most flattering. But a tank top style like this personally is my absolute favorite. As you were saying, like the options of how to style this are endless. You can wear this casually, you can dress this up. It is just a good basic piece to have in your closet to help pull your outfits together. However, what I have been leaning into is elevated versions of a Razorback tank top. This one is from Zara. You can see it's got the cutout, it's got the ruching, and I have been loving it. Honestly, you are gonna be seeing not just the cutout style, but a lot of tops with side ruching. One, they're super flattering, and it's such an easy way to add interest to your outfit. It doesn't have to be a crop style, Fun fact, honestly, I used to shy away from crop style. I used to really think that I was like overweight and fat and that is truly a discussion for another day. So I really over the past couple of years have just gotten more comfortable in wearing crop styles, but the ruched side detailing, the cutout side detailing, that's a simple way to step your outfit up, right? Like if you paired each of these tops with a pair of jeans, this one is probably gonna stand out to you a little bit more than this one. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with either. But for me, these are the kinds of pieces that I'm looking for now to actually replace some of my more basic pieces, especially now that I don't have a traditional day job, I can have a little bit more fun with my style. So, so you are seeing a couple ways to style this. And again, do not think that you have to buy this in neutral colors. I'm just using white as an example. I also have this in brown and I have a yellow one as well that you're seeing over there. So again, I urge you not to just think of basics in simple neutral terms. Do not be afraid to buy them in color and use that as a way to add some personality and fun to your wardrobe. If you are finding this video even the least bit helpful, do me the quickest favor, hit that like button because that's going to help this video reach even more people struggling to figure out which basics they should have in their wardrobe for killer style. The second top for me that I feel like is an essential, a must have basic is a button up. It doesn't have to be white. I have this one from H&M and they have them in plenty of other colors, but I just feel like a good button up, you really can't go wrong. And the funny part is this white button up is probably my least worn button up, but I literally have like 10 or 15 different button ups in different colors and different patterns as you're seeing them styled over there. Because like the Razorback tank top, this is the piece that's gonna translate from work to play. There's so many fun ways that you can style it. If you haven't seen it already, I actually do have a video on different ways to style and restyle a basic button up to get even more wear out of it. Off the shoulder, cute crop tops, things like that. So this is such a versatile piece. No matter what your style is, whether you're bold and colorful or you are a neutral girly, like a button up truly is just an essential piece in any wardrobe. But if you are looking to stand out a little bit more, Consider button-ups with texture, color, patterns, or even in different crop styles. If you've watched any of my vacation videos, you've definitely seen this set from Pretty Little Thing. 
This is actually what I reach for 90% of the time if I just feel like I want the basic white button-up look because the texture just adds something so much more fun than the basic white. It's giving luxury. It's giving looks. It's very like laid back elegance and I really, really love that and I do feel like this is a great place to start if you are looking for like elevated versions of button-ups is to just simply consider texture or maybe even sheer as more of a layering piece and wearing it by itself. Another option to consider are fun crop style, cutout style, just any kinds of elevated button-up. This one is from H&M. I'm an honestly, I feel like most of my elevated button ups are from H&M. I really do love this like exploration of like how do you take what was traditionally a business work piece and kind of make it non-traditional, make it more casual. So I have literally so many different styles of cropped button ups, asymmetric button ups, snot front button ups. And I understand why some of these can be slept on. It can be hard to find the right pieces that you feel might work for a lot of different occasions or just are flattering because typically these kinds of button ups do tend to be crop style but when i say these are worth every penny especially if you find one that you like and again it doesn't have to be crop style like this think oversized think utility pockets like this there are tons of different really fun extra button-ups that really can take your style to the next level again a wardrobe staple and a basic doesn't have to truly be basic it's something that really you feel like you can wear almost on a daily basis and mix and match with a lot of things because I'm comfortable in crop tops because of the way that this fits and of course the white color. This is something that I can style and restyle with so many different pieces in my wardrobe and get tons of wear out of it. So you might be surprised that those are the only two like wardrobe staple tops that I'm going to share with you and that is because of personal preference. While I do have regular t-shirts, while I do have long sleeve tops, honestly those are not pieces that I reach for on a daily basis or on a regular basis. I've talked about this before. Your girl be sweating. Your girl is a sweater. And so I really actually don't like sleeves when I can avoid it because I hate feeling like I have sweat pulled up in my shirts. And then the smell, all of that is just, it ain't cute, boo. It ain't cute. So for me, I do tend to stick to tank tops or looser long sleeve tops for that reason. But make sure that you're listening to your personal preference and that's one of the things i feel like isn't talked about enough either when it comes to wardrobe staples like i could just share with you a bunch of pieces that obviously anybody can have in their closet and make work but i'm sharing with you what my wardrobe staples are because of my personal preferences truly what makes a lot of people style comfortable isn't the basics more as how they style those basics or pair it with other basics or find elevated basics as a former tomboy if you asked me like my wardrobe staples years ago i would say literally for bottoms just a pair of jeans that's it like thinking back now that i've left my like day job i was allowed to wear jeans at the office and if you truly don't like workwear you truly don't like trousers things like that unless you honestly have to wear them for work i wouldn't even bother like i would find a good pair of jeans these ones are from frame you've seen me wear them they fit immaculately by the way and if you do like denim but you're not sure about the different brands and stuff i have literally a whole series of denim try-ons amber crombie zara h&m to help you find the right jeans for your amazing, beautiful body. But truly, like the tomboy in me, like growing up, I was always in jeans and just a cami. Like that was my high school uniform going into college. And I was cool with that. And even now, especially on my more casual days, I love to just throw on a good pair of jeans, a cute crop top, and some sneakers. Like I do have that very chill side of my style as well. So that's honestly why I say when it comes to wardrobe staples, when it comes to like what you actually need, if you are comfortable in denim, if you're comfortable in jeans, a good pair of denim jeans is really all you need. Honestly, like maybe two pairs. Personally, I love a good high-waisted wide leg jean and then I like a high-waisted kind of mom cut jean that's looser through the leg. But it truly is about what you are most comfortable in and what you're gonna get the most wear out of when it comes to denim because honestly, the way these jobs are paying out, unless it is your style and your prerogatives and you like to be more dressier, truly, I wouldn't even bother. If you are somebody that does have a nine to five that requires you to be dressier or you just do like to dress up a little bit more, I also recommend a good pair of tapered trousers these ones are old from h&m i've literally had these for probably eight years now and that goes to show you again just how much of a staple these are i just love that they are high rise i love that they are fitted but not super tight and these can work for a lot of different occasions you don't have to do neutral and you're probably noticing this is an elevated basic because i have these really fun buckle details which makes this really really fun but obviously like that isn't necessary if you just find a good high rise semi fitted trouser pant that's gonna go a long way. You can wear that with a lot of stuff. You can dress that up for date night. Here are some examples and other colors that you're seeing. I have two pairs that are like part of a suit. That I really do love to dress up. And again, you can make work for work or wear more casually. But again, I do stress honestly finding the more like elevated fun version, something just with a fun detail. That's just really gonna help your outfit stand out a little bit more, but still keep it wearable, right? Like I'm not saying to go out and buy something with like a billion different tears or in some crazy colors but i do recommend if you find things with fun buckles or fun pocket detailings things like that are going to help to make your outfit stand out more 
without having to do a lot of work and still make them wearable for a lot of different occasions and great staples for your closet. If you are generally not into fitted pants, the other option is just some wide leg trousers. Now, I know that there's a lot of fear about this depending on your body shape because you might like not want to look any wider than you are, but I really want to make an argument or wide leg pants because these are flattering for most body shapes it's really just about finding the right style i've had this pair from mango for about four years now when you think about the chic summer outfits honestly it's the girls with the cute bralettes and the wide leg breezy pants some sandals or some sneakers a good pair of wide leg trousers honestly should not be slept on and again do not feel like you have to get these in neutral colors as you're seeing i am a wide leg girl convert i love them in all colors i love them in patterns and that for me was definitely kind of like my first foray into being a little bit more adventurous when it came to my style was through pants i feel like i could just experiment a lot more and i just felt like i love making a statement wearing like some fun bottoms with a more basic or elevated basic top so and in my opinion if you aren't a denim girly like these would be the pants i would say are going to be your everyday pants right they're just so comfortable they're breezy especially if you get some that have stretch in the waistband you really cannot go wrong i feel like with a good pair of wide leg trousers for your wardrobe now if you are just not a pants person at all which i can't even believe i'm about to say that because i truly grew up a tomboy i have an older brother and when i say like i wore his hand-me-downs like i was that baddie i truly like didn't wear dresses or skirts unless it was a special occasion until like halfway through college i would say four skirts four wardrobe staples honestly i love a good pencil skirt this one is from asos actually i've never owned a traditional pencil skirt i really have always just like gravitated towards like knitwear more structured stuff so don't think that it has to be like a classic work one like this right that's a very dated thought there are so many different like styles of pencil skirts fitted skirts whether you want something nice and tight and ribbed or if you're looking for a jersey material there's just so many different options and why i specifically say midi style and you could even do maxi style if you want to that's a personal preference the reason that i really would recommend a good midi skirt if you are especially if you are not a pants person just is that this is going to be able to be worn so many different ways the amount of ways that i dress up my skirts dress down my skirts like the possibilities are truly endless like girly like girly again i cannot stress this enough like one thing about me i'm aware and rewear and wear my pieces as many times as i possibly can now i totally understand depending on your job you might be a little bit on the fence with, with skirts in general but here's the thing you got blessed with body you got blessed with legs you got blessed with thighs you got blessed with some booty you got blessed to be a fruity delicious pear baby okay so like unless somebody at your job is saying something because you are wearing something more fitted at this day and age i really struggle when people say like things like this might not be appropriate for work because i can't help my body like even in loose clothes the booty poke like the body be body and so i don't know what you want me to do and i bet you also have that same struggle my recommendation if you are uncomfortable with that longer blazers maxi cardigans to cover up your butt even then i know some of y'all are truly blessed and that thing old thing even underneath those things like i said i'd be having the same struggle whether i'm in pants or in a skirt like the body the thing old thing the thing old thing and i cannot help that and i don't feel like you should be ashamed of that and i hope that nobody at work makes you feel ashamed of that because they hate me I'm not gonna say they hate me, but they hate me. All of that to say, like, do not feel as though you cannot wear this, especially like to your nine to five. There are definitely workarounds, like I said, with just like longer outerwear to make sure that you're giving more conservative, but truly a high rise midi skirt, like pencil style, she gonna get worn, I promise you. Next up, I still can't even believe I'm saying this, dresses. Starting with a good, just midi style dress, similar to the skirt, this gorgeous one very simple very easy to wear is from h&m honestly anytime h&m drops a knit dress nine times out of ten i'm buying it because this is also from h&m they sit right they serve they are affordable and what i love about dresses like this is that you can dress them up or down for any occasion i love to wear this dress as a house dress just lounging around honestly you are seeing different ways i've styled not just this one but other colors as well you can add a blazer to this for the office, you can wear this with some cute heels for date night, a night out. And personally, I do actually recommend like the thicker ribbed knitting and things like that versus just like jersey style. I find that these just snatch your body way better than just like simple jersey dresses, honestly. Like when I look for dresses, I do look for details like this, the thick ribbing and things like that, because I just find that they sit how I need them to sit and they serve point in case how i need them to serve this is something i would recommend to have in almost every neutral color a black a brown a white because you will then have options for different kinds of occasions black obviously if you have funerals things like that white for the summer neutral just for different things i still am a tomboy at heart but the way that i do reach for dresses now i really do be a little confused like when did you become a girl girl like when did the 
when did that happen girl but these are an excellent wardrobe staple and again i cannot stress enough like if you were talking about basics if you were talking about staples you are talking about things that you're going to want to wear and rewear and be able to rewear so a dress like this honestly goes such a long way and it's definitely a casual option however i also do feel like you should have at least one dressier option and it doesn't have to be a dress if you are a jumpsuit girly again same rules apply for the casual dress as it does for an event dress you are going to have special occasions in your life to pretend otherwise you know, you're going to have friends who get married. You're going to have birthdays. You're going to have really nice dinners. So you want to make sure you have at least one event dress. Honestly, I say two. I like to have kind of a bright one, a colorful one for the happier occasions, and then a dark colored one, black or navy, for the more somber occasions in our lives. So, so make sure that you are considering having an event dress in your wardrobe. And it is worth splurging on this. I do feel like even though it won't get worn every single day, you do want something that's nice. You want something that's going to be fitted and something that's going to make you feel good that you can wear year after year after year and as you're seeing i've had this dress for about three years but honestly any chance i get to wear it i am taking it so and i share that because i want to give you permission to rewear your dresses especially your special occasion dresses and not worry about like well everybody has seen me in it i already took pictures in it like i look good i looked good the first time i'm gonna remind you i still look good like that's the attitude that i want you to have when it comes to your pieces whether it's your basics whether it is your dress your options like i look good i'm gonna show you i look i'm gonna remind let me remind you because if you thought that i was gonna go slaying this once baby baby i'm gonna serve again and again and again and you are just gonna have to take it per then last but not least just some layering pieces starting off with the quintessential that you've probably seen on every list I got this one from Zara. For me, I find it's really important to find ones that are nipped in at the waist that really do help to highlight your figure. There's nothing wrong with having an oversized blazer. I have blazers in probably every color, every pattern. I have crop blazers. I have baggy blazers. You really can't go wrong with a blazer, but I feel like if you're thinking of a classic blazer that's going to be something you wear year after year, you are going to want it to be semi-fitted. You are going to want it to make you feel good and look good. And I do feel like the downside with, I would say, at least the oversized blazer look is that depending on like if your weight fluctuates or something like that, it could go from this is cute and oversized to like I'm drowning and looking homeless. Whereas a tailored blazer, even if you lose a little bit of weight, it's still going to sit and cinch in how it should cinch in and still give that shape, still give that body. You were seeing my argument as to why blazers are a wardrobe essential. And the crazy thing is I even like to wear blazers outside of work. I know so many people are like, well, I don't really work a nine to five. I don't need a blazer. But I just love the advancements. And I don't know a better way to put this. Just like the advancements in the styles that they have made for blazers in terms of the different material, the different cuts. So these aren't just for work anymore. Like there are so many like breathable blazers, fun blazers, edgy blazers that honestly, no matter your style, no matter like your job, you're going to be able to find a blazer that works for you. And again, what I do like is it does give a little bit of a dressier element in case you do have to look a little bit more formal. You can also style a blazer as you're saying to be casually to just give a little bit of like cool to an otherwise casual look. So blazers are definitely a great layering piece to have in your wardrobe that again are going to work year round, especially if you buy the right style. Then last but not least, in terms of layering wardrobe staples for me, a good denim jacket. I won't lie, I actually have scored a lot of my denim jackets from Forever 21 and they have lasted me some years. I love this oversized one to layer over, especially something like this where it's almost like, girl, is you actually wearing something underneath it or no? You've seen me style my cropped denim jacket as well when I want to look snatched and cinched and body. A denim jacket, again, it like really just doesn't matter your style. Like even if you are like, well, whispers, girl or you are like i'm loud i'm proud i have bold style i want to be in your face a denim jacket is just going to be one of those pieces that you can reach for no matter the season no matter the year like they just don't go out of style and they're just again something that can easily tie together an outfit especially if you're feeling like hey this is too bright or hey i just need an extra layering piece firstly again like i said if you're wanting to look snatch a crop style if you want something with a little bit more coverage a little more cool girl the oversize is the way to go and this is a more casual option so this is going to work for so many different occasions even if you are running to the office and you work somewhere where you can be a little bit more dressed down the denim works and then obviously like weekends trips like that the denim jacket it just comes in so handy like i said wardrobe basics are about pieces that you can easily mix and match and get tons of wear out of it doesn't just mean wearing neutrals it doesn't even mean just wearing a basic version of something you can get the elevated version of something and that can be a wardrobe staple as well so i really hope that that was one of the major takeaways as well as some pieces things to keep in mind as you're shopping for these pieces to build that foundation for your wardrobe to have elevated and chic style 
If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the like button and you subscribe. Turn on the bell notification. Do not miss a video from your girl sharing fashion, lifestyle, travel, things like that. I am going to do another video very shortly talking specifically about elevated basics because that is my element, as you probably saw looking at my outfit. I just feel as though for everyone who is wondering how to get my comfortable style, like what makes my style so different, it is those pieces. And if you are really struggling, I actually do have an entire series on how to improve your style from how to do a wardrobe clean out, how to create your mood board, how to find your uniforms, and even more. So make sure that you check that series out on how to really develop your personal style to make it you, to make it stand out, to get even more tips and tricks to not just look good, babe, but feel amazing. Because again, that is what I want you to get out of these videos. That is what that is what discovering my style and embracing my style and learning to dress my body has done for me is, is not just make me look good, but I feel good. That's another really big key takeaway I hope that you get from my videos is that it's not just about buying what's cute, buying right now, but really being intentional about what you add, not just to your wardrobe, but to your life. And then what you allow to stay as well. Like that is just as important. So thank you for watching all the way through and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.